for today, for every food that we try, right, we are going to rate it. Bye. 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 No bye. I can't decide. Before the video starts, I want to share a good news with you guys. I just collected my house key after waiting for more than three years. So if you guys want to see me do an empty house tour, leave it down in the comment box below. One, two, three, go. So today we are going to eat Value Dollar Shop Food for a day. So you know Value Dollar Shop Food has been around for a long time but yeah. the prices are slightly cheaper than usual supermarkets. Why ah? Mm, from my knowledge, right, I think they like buy in parts. So like it's always cheaper. But do you guys realize that the packaging and the taste sometimes taste a bit different? So today, right, we are gonna try all the interesting food and drinks that we can find at Value Dollar Shop. So let's go! Bye. We are now over at Lucky Plaza. Yeah, and apparently they say they have three stores here. So it's like three stores in one mall. Eh. So there's level one, basement one, and level six. So are we gonna check all of them out? Yeah, must check. It's here. You know there are way too many things here and we don't know what to get. Yeah, so we're just gonna get food for breakfast. Look what I found. Rainbow cookies. So this is our favourite. Yeah, if you guys haven't watched the Mustafa video, go and watch it. Oh my god, buying so much things for breakfast. <laughs> I think it's not enough, we A should buy more. Right. I found that drinks and it's very interesting, you know why? There's like soybean. Bird's nest, wow. wow, and grass jelly. And the best thing is three for one dollar. Oh my god, look at the queue, it's so long. Oh my god, do you know what? It's only eight dollars and ninety cents. If you go like normal supermarket to buy, right, twenty dollars. You know what's Ben's reaction just now when the cashier said eight dollars and ninety cents? He's like, huh? <laughs> He's shocked. Okay. You know we were supposed to go level 1 and level 6, right? Yeah, I guess we got too excited. There yeah. are too many things. We are here to check out the another value shop over at level 6. <coughs> Luckily, we went to the one at B1. This one is smaller. Hey, do you want to buy a short? It's only 2 dollars eh. We can all buy them, we can wear later together. <laughs> we are trying to find a place to eat, but the weather now is so hot and hazy. Do you have Rachel? No go. We finally found somewhere indoors where we can eat our breakfast with aircon. So we bought quite a lot of stuff which are like more suitable for breakfast. Like look at this. This is like cake and waffle and also drinks. So let's eat them. Okay, so for our first item, we have this super cute. Look at it. It's London Bear Cake. I saw before London Chocolate Roll. Roll. But this is London Bear Cake. Yeah, look at it. It's so cute. We also got this. Salted yolk egg roll. So this is quite special. I've, I've never seen this before. Yeah, toasty. Huh? No, it's to taste. Eh. <laughs> wow, a lot of packet inside. Eh. See? Okay, so this box of London Bear Cake, it's one dollar ninety five cents. So yours got ten packets inside. Eh. Yeah. So basically, it's just less than twenty cents. Yeah. Wow. So cheap. And for mine, it's eight packets, one dollar ninety five cents. <gasps> oh my god. Look at this bear. It's so cute. So basically, I think it's the same thing as the London Choco Roll, but it's in a bear shape. And it's vanilla flavor. Mmm. It is exactly like the London, the London Roll, but vanilla version. So I think for like less than 20 cents, this is quite worth it. It's cute also. Next up, bro, the salted egg yolk roll. So there are two pieces inside one packet. And this is from China. Let's try. The salted egg yolk, right? Make my mouth very dry. Mm. Eh. It's very, very dry. Yeah. So for this salted yolk egg roll, I think the salted egg, right, the taste is not very prominent. It's just salty to me. Like, I don't taste the salted egg. And then it's not like, you know, it's not flowy. It's just like one layer, like a slab of butter. So it makes the whole biscuit very dry. And so for today, for every food that we try, right, we are going to rate it. And not just rate it, we're gonna say that buy or no buy. This bear cake, buy. This salted egg yolk roll, no buy. I'm gonna try this cute waffle chocolate. This is $1 only. So let's see what's inside. Oh, so it's like this. Wow. Basically, inside this waffle, there's like cream filling with rich chocolate. Okay, let's try it. Mm. And this thing is from Malaysia and it's Hala certified. And for $1, I find it pretty worth it. Yeah, and just now I tried it, it tastes like Apollo. Yeah. It's like a childhood snack, right? Mm. This cute chocolate waffle, buy. And these snacks are three, three for $1. $1. I think it's super worth it, eh? Yeah, 
So we have the spicy seafood curl, bread pan, traditional style tortilla chips. And we're gonna each try one. So oh. I chose the sweet corn. Yeah, so this one is the, it's like garlic bread like that. It's yeah. a small little garlic bread. You know this one right, I always eat when I was in primary school. Oh it's God, exact the exact same thing. Mmm, but I don't have the, like a lot of garlic. Taste. Oh, the garlic smell is very yeah. strong, right? Next, we're gonna try the tortilla chips. I love to dip it in like salsa or like guacamole. So let's try. And this sweet corn flavor. Hmm. Mm. Your reaction makes me want to try. Mmm. 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 You know, you all sound like my dog. <laughs> <laughs> so this tortilla chip, right? It's like sweet corn flavor, and I can really taste the sweet corn. Like, I mean, the chip itself is already like corn chips, but. The sweet corn flavor really stands. It's sweet and savory. So all these three snacks, they are made in Philippines. So Randy's gonna try the last one. Seafood curl. How is it? How is it? Is it good? It tastes exactly like the Kalbi one. And you know, it says spicy, right? So initially when I eat it, it's not as spicy. But the more you eat, the more spicy it is. Honestly, I feel that this three packet, right, is very worth it. Three for one dollar. One is only... 33.33333 cents. Super worth it. And also just now we saw there are also a lot of different other snacks other than these three. So you can actually pick and choose what you like. Three for one dollar snacks. Bye. Okay, next up we have this honey mustard chips that Ben chose. Yeah, I love look, mustard. It looks so expensive. Yeah, it's only one dollar and ninety-five cents. It's premium flavor, okay? Yeah, this type of potato chip, you go cold storage will be like seven dollars. So you guys know another reason why the snacks are so cheap, right? It's because right, sometimes the expiry date is like nearing, it's like maybe next month or like in two months. But so far all the snacks that we got, right, it's all like next year. So we are safe. Personally, I've encountered before, like, I buy like a snack home and then I forget about it. Like two months later when I take it out, right, it's already expired. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, honey mustard potato chips. This one is made in Spain. But I cannot really taste the honey mustard taste. Mm. Right? Yeah. I think the honey taste is more prominent. But for $1.95, it really tastes like those premium potato chips that you buy from cold storage. Yeah. So if you are a fan of like honey chips, this is a buy. Yeah, I agree. Like the texture and the thickness, right? Mm. Feels like those Atas potato chips. Yeah, it's not those thin ones where it break, eh, breaks easily. So I really got that crunch and the texture. Now I can really taste the honey mustard taste. I think like, it's not coated for all the potato chips. Uh. <laughs> you know the more I eat these chips, right? The better it gets. So yeah. I feel like this is really worth it. Eh. You know one tip for you guys is, buy this to your friend's house and they will thought that you buy very expensive chips. But it's only $1.95. Honey, honey mustard, mustard potato, potato chips. chips. Bye! Bye. Okay, next up we got drinks. It's also three for one dollar. Yeah, so like there's soybean, bird's nest, and grass also grass jelly. jelly. The ball. Wow. Y'all don't know the reference. Are you Singapore's Park Bong? This bottle looks really cute, but I think one thing is this is not chill. And it's quite cool because usually you know when you, when you buy bottled drinks right, once you uncap it, it's like the drink already. But they seal it for you. Yeah. We are trying very hard to peel over this thing right, but you can just poke it using this. You see, there's this sharp thing right, just poke it. See, it's open. Let's try the drink. Cheers. Three for one dollar. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Wow. Hey, it's not bad. Yeah, the soy milk is not bad also. And it's not sweet. Honestly, I didn't have expectation for this drink, but wow, it's not bad. Wow, the grass jelly got really the grass jelly inside. Eh. And the bird's nest also got like all the jelly jelly thing inside. Yeah. But is it real bird's nest? Obviously not. So these drinks are imported from Malaysia and actually there are also other drinks there. So for three for one dollar with so many varieties, bye. Three for one dollar drink, bye! bye. Wow. <laughs> so now we're gonna go to the next value, value shop. Dollar shop. Not me or eh. yeah. Yeah. We are now over at Boogie's Village and this value dollar shop right is not called value dollar shop, right? It's called ABC. ABC. But everything is still the same. Mm. Oh my god, I realized something eh. You know just now the snack that Ben chose, it was like one dollar. 
at the place that we bought. But here it's $1.05. Oh my god. Five cents more expensive. You see, for the ABC shop, right, they got cold drinks at eh, 85 cents. So just now, the value dollar shop don't have cold drinks, but they have cold drinks here. It's lunch time, and we bought a lot of snacks. Mm. Total, we spent $11.35. Yup. And the first one we're gonna try is this Choco Bomb. This looks really cute, eh. Yeah. And like... the best thing is, it's only $1.50. So it's something like this. So you have 10 inside. It's like a mini version of Yen Yen. Yeah. Wow! Oh, there's chocolate dip inside. Yeah, and the stick is like very small, very tiny little oh, stick, like yours, ah. Uh. Hey. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Mm. The biscuit tastes buttery, but the chocolate doesn't taste like chocolate at all. But it's very cute, like if you give like kids, right? Mm. Yeah. Very kind of pain, huh, man? Eh? Yeah, they'll be very happy. To be honest, I feel that like this is not bad. Mm. It's like a really small snack. Mm. And if you take a look at inside, there's really a lot of biscuit sticks. Yeah, quite worth it for 15 cents yeah. each. Very worth it. So this snack is made in China. And one very good thing I feel, right, is this. You can take out the chocolate. So if you want, don't want your kids right, to eat the chocolate, <laughs> right, just take it out and give them the stick. And you know, it says good luck to you. So once you open this, wow, you're gonna have some good luck. And usually right, when I look at the packaging, sometimes when you open it up, right, the chocolate will be melted and it will be sticky. But surprisingly, look at the chocolate, doesn't look melted. Chocolate Choco bomb. bomb! No bye! bye. So next, we're going to try Coco Pay. So basically, it's... Coco Coated Sandwich Biscuit with Marshmallow, marshmallow and, and Coconut. So this Choco Pay is $1.50. Okay, let's open. Can it be gentle? Wow. Honestly, it looks very good. Uh. Yeah. Because the coating, the chocolate coating is a lot. Mmm. Mm. The marshmallow is entire. Very interesting texture because there's like chocolate, coconut, and marshmallow. But it's towards the drier side, mm. which I don't really like. I don't have taste on it, the chocolate. The cheap chocolate taste. Mm. And personally, I think coconut and the chocolate part is not a very good combination. I think this is a letdown because when I first opened it, I had very high expectations. Mm. Yeah, it looks very pretty. You know, sometimes you cannot let the appearance deceive you. Yeah, that's the moral of the story. Choco, Choco pay! No mm. buy! Next, we got drinks. drinks. And it's cold drinks. And these three cans are doing really caught our eye. Ooh. Ooh. Really caught our eye. Mm. Mm. Oh my gooshies. <laughs> oh my gooshies, my new shirt. <laughs> oh my gooshies. Stop acting cute leh. These three canned drinks right, really caught our eye. Yep. Look at the packaging. It's something that you won't see in like supermarkets. The brand is House Boom and it's from Myanmar. And I one can is like 85 cents. Yeah, we got the grape flavor. Pork flavor. And also orange. Cheers! Mm. Wow. Oh, it's not bad. <laughs> It's really gassy. Yeah, it's very gassy. You know, every time I see these kind of soft drinks, right, I will assume that it's super sweet, but this is not that sweet. Yeah, it's actually quite nice, and mine tastes like Fanta Green. And this tastes like Coke. And this tastes like Fanta Orange. Okay, so we got chased out by the security, and we are gonna go another place to film. House Boop! Bye. Oh my! Okay, so now we're gonna try this hot cookies. This looks very expensive. Yeah. From Japan, I think. Yeah, it looks something you can find a donkey. Yeah. yeah. And it's one dollar and ninety-five cents. There's fourteen packets inside. This looks so cute. They even have words. Eh. Have, have a, a heart. heart. Okay, we're gonna have a heart. Mm. Oh, this is not cookie. I thought it's cookie. It's chocolate. It says biscuit. biscuit. Oh, inside. So inside is like biscuit. Chocolate with biscuit inside. Oh, that's nice. Eh. Mm. Not bad. Oh. It really tastes like something you buy from donkey. The chocolate is not the cheap kind of chocolate. Then when you buy, there's like crunch. Hot chocolate. chocolate! Bye! Okay, now it's time for the Skittles! And it's giant Skittles. Eh. It's three times bigger. Eh. Okay, let's try it. Wow, wow. It's really very it's big. It's huge. Eh. Eh. I love to eat Skittles, right? And this one, I right, really got the chew in it. Like, when you eat a normal one, it's so small. It's like harder, right? Yeah, it's harder also. So, there's no chew to it. You can't eat a really bad show, eh? Yeah, if you're a fan of Skittles, you must buy. Okay, so this bag of Skittles is $2.80. And I think the normal Skittles is already like eat quite tall. So, for $2.80, you get giant Skittles. Oh my god, look at what we realized. There's actually a sticker on the back of the packaging. 
You can take out and you can fold it and stick. Wow. So you can keep it like that. Giant, Giant Skittles. Bye. Okay, next up we have this Lucy Peach Soft Jelly. Is it like gummy or something? Yeah, it looks very interesting and it's like individually packed. And it's only 80 cents. We also got this 55 cents Cadbury chocolate, but the special thing is this is filled with aerated milk chocolate. So it's like air chocolate. What's air chocolate? Chocolate from the air. La. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, take big breaths. <gasps> oh my god, and I just realized right that the gummies right are shaped in a peach. Oh, and this one is cool. shaped in bubbles. Is it nice? Okay, this gummy right, is very chewy. It's, it's not those normal gummy where it's very hollow in the middle. This one is inside also chewy, the outside also chewy. It's not too sweet and apparently they say there's 3% concentrated peach juice. Juicy peach soft jelly. No buy. Time for the air chocolate. It's just a normal like milk chocolate. Nothing special, milk chocolate only. Bubbly chocolate. No buy. We are now over at Chinatown Point, their value dollar shop. Yeah, and it's not as crowded here. Yeah. Oh my god, guys, look, it's 150. Yeah. Why all different ones? This is inflation in a day. Eh. <laughs> From $1 to $1.05 to $1.50. It's around 6 30, so it's time for dinner. Yeah, and we saw this very cool salted egg yolk mm. oat chocolate. Oh. Inside. Oh, chocolate and salted egg yolk, they don't sound good together. Yeah, it's a bit weird, right? Yeah. yeah. But the packaging, this is so big. This is only $1.50 and there's 23 pieces inside. This is $3.50 with like 10 packets inside. Okay, so this is like a fudge bar flavor combo. I think this is like fudge cake. Oh. Yeah, and like, they have different flavors. Oh. It's got a like, very strong smell. I think it's because of the salted egg yolk. Yee! Okay, let's try. Mm. Oh, it's crispy, which I really like. You know, sometimes it's like very noir noir like that, right? You know, it's crispy. I think it's nice. No. There's this strong oat taste, but I don't taste salted egg yolk. Ugh. Sorry. Mm. Yeah, I think Rachel is being No, it's yeah. a very weird combination of the chocolate, the oat, and the salted egg. Can I even really taste the salted egg? Like it's a bit salty, then a bit sweet from the chocolate. Salted egg yolk, no buy. Honestly, I'm quite interested in this eh, because I've never tried this before. So in total, there are six different flavors, and I find some of them very interesting, like the durian one, and also this one. Macapuno. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying the durian one, and inside there's filling one eh. I think it's like durian cream. Okay, so apparently macapuno is coconut. So this is just like a durian flavored sponge cake. The durian taste is quite distinct. And for mine, I don't really like the taste of shredded coconut, but this one in the middle, right, is really the taste of shredded coconut. It tastes like pandan on the outside and shredded coconut in the middle. So if for those of you who like to eat like pandan cake with like coconut filling, this cake is for you. So this fudge bar, they are from Philippines. And I have to say, no, no buy. buy! Next, I'm gonna try this sweet cheese biscuit. Wow. Oh. Okay, so on top there's like sugar. At the bottom, cheese. cheese! So this cheese biscuit is $1.05 and it's from Indonesia. So this one, it tastes like the very old school kind of biscuit. But there's like cheese at the bottom. Sweet cheese biscuit! I can't decide! Last but not least, we have this satay fish snack. This is very old school also. Ooh, it's yeah. from Thailand and it's $1.50. Oh. oh! So the old school one is not crispy one. This is crispy. Oh, the satay yeah, 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 satay yeah. snack. Wow! Take a look at this. It's crispy. Let's try. Nice eh? Mm. Good, 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 good. Mm. Bye. Yeah, straight away buy. So this is exactly the same as the old school snack, mm. but it's just crispy. Actually, I prefer the crispy one and the yeah. the soggy one. This is much nicer. Mm. I find this very fragrant and crispy. So, satay snack. Bye. 
Okay, so we are done with our value dollar shop challenge. So how do you guys feel? You know, I'm super full from all the snacks that we had there. Yeah, and you realize, right? We never eat any food today. Just uh -huh. snacks. So for me personally, because I never really shop at a value dollar shop, so mm. it's really a very good experience. Yeah, and one thing I realized, right? So far, all the snacks that we bought, right, the expiry dates are quite far. Yeah. Mm. So no more nearing expiry date. And also, like today, we only tried all the snacks, but at value dollar shop, right, you can also buy other things like yeah. other necessities. Yeah, like shampoo body wash and even like luggages yeah there's a lot of things so this is the total amount that we spent today yeah and comment down below to let us know which is your favorite snacks so that's all for this video remember to subscribe to us click on the notification bell button so you get notified when we upload new videos and don't forget to follow us on our instagram tiktok and telegram group and I'll see you guys in the next video bye, bye.